triggers and our responses. One of my favorite teachers is galactic town crier Bashar. <laughs> In one of his sermons, he describes a simple process of self-illumination when there is an emotional trigger. One, I am feeling blank. Two, I am feeling blank because I choose to. Three, I choose to feel blank because it serves me to. This then begs the question, why the heck do I think this serves me? And at this point, things start to unravel, and you'll be able to see why you were so motivated to respond with these feelings in the first place. As the old saw goes, it's not the negative experience that counts, it's the response to it. Allowing negative experiences to justify expressions of negative emotions is the superhighway to unhappiness. Now notice it's about expressions, not the feeling of the feelings themselves. Allowance of the feelings triggered by negative events is key to uncoupling from reactive expressions. The prime purpose of running the Bashar sequence is to run out negative energies that have been lodged in the emotional body as a result of traumas, social programming, or low self-esteem. If we immediately lash out with the same negativity, it simply reinforces the negative emotions. But if we can observe the feelings welling up and observe how they could cause a physical expression, they begin to dissipate for lack of anywhere else to go. The beauty of this process is that even if we go ahead and negatively respond, there is always an opportunity to restart the clearing of the trigger. By making it a habit to allow and release negative triggers, at some point we reach a state of equanimity with this experience called life, and such states as compassion, appreciation, and understanding become the triggered or preferred responses. It is the choice of the response that drives the kind of experiences we create. If we respond to negativity with compassion, understanding, appreciation, and even love, those positive qualities and the emotions that go with them are reinforced, eventually transforming all negativity that may be residing in the psyche. Because all of consciousness is connected, when we choose allowance, choose responses such as compassion and love, this raises the energies of the collective and allows greater access to these higher states, making it more likely others will find the ability to begin clearing their own negativity. This is the great hope of awakening. As we self-illuminate, we increase the available light throughout all consciousness, driving out the darkness that has been used to control us with fear and hate for millennia. It all boils down to simply choosing a higher response and realizing that our power of choice is the keystone to happiness, freedom, and the realization of our true potential as grand creator beings. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy Rx, www.pureenergyrx.com.